Alright, today I'm going to be showing you guys the Furious Flamberge, which is part of the Flourish family. And we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the sword. And as you can see, it's fire themed, and on the sword's guard there is a fire emblem. And the guard also kind of trails off into that wing pattern on the sides, which is pretty cool. Near the tip of the blade, there's that little fiery spot, which also signifies the fire status. And the sword goes pretty well with any chapeau or fire themed set. Now the Furious Flamberge's basic attack consists of a swipe and then two pokes forward. And as you can see, it takes you pretty far forward when you complete the combo. Now for the sword's charge attack, when you release it, it's not really that interesting. But right here we're going to take a look at how far it actually pushed us forward. So we went from there, that little spot back there, all the way up to there. So that's something you definitely want to take notice of and... You can't really stop that combo, so you gotta use it really carefully. And now we'll take a look at some of the Furious Flamberge's stats and features. So first off, the sword deals pure piercing damage. The sword also has a fair chance of inflicting the moderate fire status on enemies. And as we saw before, you'll definitely want to use the sword's charge attack with caution because it can carry you quite far forward, and you really need to plan that out. So, since the sword deals pure piercing damage, it's great against the Fiend and the Beast family. And right here we're going up against some Chromalisks, which are in the Beast family. And as you can see, it's taking care of them pretty quickly. And right here in this instance, we're actually dealing 158 damage with our first hit, which is pretty decent. Now, you definitely don't want to be using the Furious Flamberge against the Construct or the Slime family. And that goes for any piercing weapon, because you could be hitting these families dozens of times with a piercing weapon and you wouldn't see any difference. Like I believe right here with our first hit we're only dealing 26 damage and if we continue to use the weapon it would just take forever to finish these guys off. And now we're going to take a look at the damage difference between the Furious Flamberge and a piercing sword that deals no status effects. And we're going to be looking at this because the Furious Flamberge doesn't deal as much piercing damage as some of the other piercing swords. And that's because the sword can inflict the fire status on enemies. So we got 153 with the Furious Flamberge, and we're getting 193 with the BTB, which deals no statuses. And the reason why it doesn't deal as much piercing damage is because it can deal that status, and so it's just a balancing issue there. So if we subtract the BTB damage from the Furious Flamberge damage, we see that the BTB actually did 35 more damage. Now you have to remember that the Furious Flamberge can set enemies on fire, and when it does, that deals 40 to 50 extra damage, which of course is greater than the 35 more that the BTB would deal. Now, while that definitely looks better, you have to remember that the sword doesn't always set enemies on fire, it only does it sometimes. So in the end, the BTB and the final flourish would probably deal more piercing damage overall, but the Furious Flamberger's damage numbers wouldn't be that far off. So, if you are interested in getting the Furious Flamberge, you'll first need to get your hands on a Flourish. Then you can take that to a Flamberge. Then you can take your Flamberge to a Fierce Flamberge. And finally, you can take that to a Furious Flamberge. And thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you in Spiral Nights.